Yeah, I'm Santa, baby. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> This friend, I'm, I'm so grateful I get to call him a friend, mm. is one of the greatest actors that Hollywood will ever know. You saw him as the fantastic Celine in Love Is, one of my favorite shows. Yeah. You saw him as Lala. Mm. I mean, he the brother was so good, they killed him and brought him back. Yeah. My brother. My brother, too. He's my brother. Okay. The cool. one and only. Yes. Sir William Cat. Will Catlin, let's come so on, bro. Let's go. Ah! How you doing, my dog? How are you? Mwah. Good to see you. Mm. Oh. Just Don't so be suave. Mad. He's so suave. He's the man. This is Sir William. Will, where are you from? I'm from a small pocket in Alexandria, Virginia, called Delray. So you're very used to cold Christmas, cold holidays. I love the cold. Really? Yeah, I'm an October baby. Okay, so have you experienced a Cali Christmas? Yeah, it's not the same. What is it that you miss? Well, Christmas to me, it involves cold weather. Mm. So here, I had to get used to that it's warm. Mm -hmm. So every day just seems like the same day here. <laughs> you know, back home you get four seasons. That's true. <laughs> you know, that's true. Every but it's day is yeah. but you have to admit Sunday. this weather is beautiful here. Yeah, the weather's amazing. But yeah. Christmas, you know, growing up mm -hmm. for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. when you went school, high school, mm -hmm. everybody, you, you don't get a girl in the summertime. But Christmas time, hey, cuff up. You got to cuff uh, up. Uh -huh, you uh -huh, you uh -huh. know, you need something to keep you warm besides yeah, yeah, a blanket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> doing a cold season. You understand? Know <laughs> of Bay and the Holidays, you got you a good one. I do. You got you a good one. I do. You do. I She's do. a queen. She's fabulous. Mm -hmm. And you are a new father. I am. I am. I'm proud this, of you. This man. is oh, your thank you. first thank you. Christmas as a dad. And my first Christmas as a dad. As one of my own physical yes. child. I have a bunch of kids I mentor. But this is like my Come physical on. child. Yeah. He's the greatest. Man of the I year. know, I know. He's the Man greatest. Man of the year. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll I receive know. it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's the greatest. How do you feel? Are you excited about that? You know, um, I think being a father makes you a better artist. Because mm. wow. just like you can see your heart outside of yourself. I love wearing the. Um, when you strap the baby, I knew I, I could I'm, see I'm you. Dude. Dude. I'm that dude. I'm that dude. Because he's so man. deep. He's so deep. He's like, all right. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah right. 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 Yeah. Did you have any holiday traditions growing up that you want to give to your daughter? Uh, well, I talked to my mother today. My mother makes the the most gorgeous Christmas tree. Mm. So I said to her, when I buy a house out here, she has to come do the tree. You yeah. know, so yeah. I, I, I would love to give um, my daughter Hamabi that. But I don't know, you know, she's different. Mm -hmm. So I'm still figuring out what her gifts are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we might build, you know, a, a bunch of boxes and put lights on them and just see what she likes. Yeah. She might not be like into the tree thing, yeah. you know. Um, she's definitely getting a black snowman. Yeah. You know, because uh, right, I, I had a black snowman. Right. Yes. You know what uh, I mean? Nothing wrong yes. with a white snowman. You know what I'm saying? Daryl, the snowman. You know, but I, yeah, but I, I, I had, we, we had both. Love Daryl. Right, <laughs> right. We we had we had both snowmen, and the, right. and the, the right window yeah. was the white snowman. Yeah. We also had the black snowman, yeah. and I appreciate that. Yeah, That's pretty yeah. Big. You what know. are you making it out? Of, I mean, is it still quiet? What? Or is what's what's the snow? Is it like? Brown? Did you? No, I'm tripping. I didn't mean to say Santa. Snowman. I, I knew you were Santa. talking about Santa. I meant to I was say like, Santa. Like Daryl the Snowman. That's right. tough. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Ah. I, meant, I meant to say Santa. We had a white Santa and we had a black Santa. <laughs> 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 All the white snow. <laughs> I, I had more color in it. I was like, that's <laughs> different. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> nah. So I have a question, mm -hmm. Will. Um, what drew you to acting? What was it? Was it someone that you saw, another actor that, you know, you saw on the screens that you admired, that you you like, what they do? What was it that got you into the field? Well, I was playing basketball in college, and one day I went to go buy some shoes at a Foot Locker. Mm. I think they were like G units at the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I went to go support my man Fifty. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. You know I'm that guy. Shout I like to, to do things different. Yes, mm -hmm. you do. I love um, it. And the, the guy that um, was selling me the shoes, 
He just had the whitest teeth I've ever seen. Mm. So I asked him, how'd you get your teeth so white? He said, Crest White Strips. I said, okay, so uh, what do you do? He said, I'm an actor. I said, oh, wow, man. It's like something rose in me and said, I always wanted to try that. So then he invited me to his acting class. And when I went there, I immediately knew that basketball was over and this mm. is what I was destined to do. Yeah. Because you do TV and you do film. Exactly. Which one do you love more? Or do you love one more? I love film more. Okay. But I love Why? TV shows that are like film, like a true detective, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. like a Black okay. Mirror or, you know, okay. something like that, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah. it's okay. just, you. they allow you a little bit more freedom. TV, um, not that I don't love doing it, but it's on a schedule, yes. you know, so it doesn't yes. allow the actor to breathe through scenes. All right, we found love, we found Will, we found everything that's great because he's amazing, and I want to play a game with you. Let's okay. Go. Can we Let's play a game? Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want you to act out this scenario. Okay. So and let's have fun. The with first it. one. Okay, I'm down. All right. He's yeah, he's he's totally down. The first one is a black elf mm -hmm. working on the toy line. Mm -hmm. Has been working overtime all week trying to get the other elf to cover his next shift. Mm -hmm. Work that out with Major. Okay. He's who, the other elf he's that a, you need to cover your shift because okay. you've been working. And I'm very efficient. Okay. You've been working. Okay. What's the what's his elf's name? Um. <laughs> Heathcliff. Heathcliff. Okay. Hey, look here, brother Heathcliff. Uh, you know, I need you to, um, if you don't mind, man, to cover my shift. Why? My mother's in the hospital, and um, I kind of want to see it. You know, it's uh, Christmas season, and um, I've been working really hard. And you know, my hands are tied. You know, and they've been, you know, the boss been just breaking my back. And I, I was looking at the schedule, man. I was seeing that, um, that you know. You, you ain't been working that much, man. I don't put over about 56 hours, and um, you ain't have as much hours as I have. And, uh, brother, I was just thinking that if it'd be all right, man, if you would just cover my shift so I could see my mother. Hey, can I go see her, and I'll just tell you how she's doing? You better cover that man's <laughs> shift. You better cover that shift. You better cover that Bro, shift. Bro, that was deep. I was like, I'm about to cry. Abort, abort, abort. I'm about to sit here and cry. Oh, I'm my like, God. Oh. No. You better cover it. So let's do. You know what would be funny if he was just like, I nah, understand, bro. no. <laughs> bro, yeah. I understand, but we got work to do. But we, we got work to do. We, we got Christmas. Um, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this one, oh, this one we're going to do. Okay, so Santa Claus at home with Mrs. Claus on December 26th, mm -hmm. the day after Christmas. Okay. So how did it go? <laughs> do you think it was a good Christmas or not? It was you think it was great. It's always great. Oh, right? yeah, you know. You always serve all the children so well. Did you like that dinner I made you? Yes, honey, it was great. Yeah? Is there anything I can do for you? I know I uh, gave you a bath earlier. Is there anything else you'd like? I, you know that... Um, I can cook that stew you like, too. I don't want stew. No? No, I want... Um, it was a lady that I was supposed to give a gift to that I didn't give to. And it was a lingerie, and I think it fits you. Oh. So okay. when I'm done... <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I need a drink. Naughty? <laughs> it wouldn't be Christmas, baby, if I went naughty. Uh, oh. oh. Yeah, so... Honey. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've got you. Oh, 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 you, okay. oh you're walking away. I've, no, I'm just going to go change. Okay. What? <laughs> Cut. Okay, let me tell you something. I totally think you read the instructions wrong. <laughs> Or he heard him wrong. I could have sworn he was supposed to be the white Santa and you were Mrs. Claus, right? We were. That was the white. Uh-uh. I thought I, I was just, <laughs> I thought it was other Santa. I knew I wasn't crazy. So you, from the moment I met you, you have blown my mind in ways that I just, I don't know how to put into words. I'm so grateful for not just your friendship, but your loyalty, your honesty, your sincerity, everything goes into your work. Mm -hmm. And I learned so much from watching your work. You're incredible. I'm so grateful. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. And I, I would like to just say one thing, because I know there's so many people we watching this, and I'm always in to encourage other artists. Mm. You know, the qualities that you mentioned, that's what makes a true artist. Mm -hmm. Your work should affect change in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you take that approach, you know, the money and the fame and everything else that you want, 
which will come and go, mm -hmm. it won't mean as much because what you deposit into the hearts of humanity is what lasts. Yeah.